Hey everybody, welcome back to the Overwatch Project. I uh, just want to do a quick commentary. I saw this um, video that was titled regarding Is God Actually the Devil? And it was actually on the Vigilant Christians uh, YouTube channel. And I watched it and I went and tracked down the original video he was trying to counter. And I want to do a quick commentary on just how deeply entrenched people who cannot critically think are and how can you know before logic before reason before that and when people are following not only a faith but blindly following faith there is no reasoning with them there is no logic that you can present or data because they are, are not capable or they have shut down critical thinking and throughout the human race many people today do not know how to critically think primarily because they have been bombarded with their culture with society with their education system they've been robbed of that ability and so you have a lot of people using you know when people say that this person can't reason that that person can't reason really everybody can reason but if you're reasoning with bad information then you're just going to reason yourself into some kind of bad conclusion. Now, um, the other thing is that um, people have behave almost like a computer does when, when you try to access an area that has been sh uh, shut off by a firewall or something. Their firewall comes up when you try to... You, they may be perfectly fine to to have a relationship with or uh, to, do, to talk to somebody. But if you say something that triggers their firewall, uh, watch out. Now they're going to get hostile. They're going to get defensive. They're going to use um, all kinds of lame-ass arguments to maintain their position because they are pro they are responding like almost like a program uh, to something. So basically... This guy here on YouTube, I, and, and I keep in mind, I don't know any of these people. I just watched their two videos. His video is 12 minutes long, and The Vigilant Christian is a 15-minute video. But he spends, like, uh, most of the video critiquing an earlier video of that guy. Not even critiquing the video he made, because this video he made, actually... And I, I can look past uh, how people look, how they sound. Uh, I'm interested in what they're saying, their information. So I, uh, uh, I listened to this guy's video, and this particular video here, I don't know about his other videos, but in this particular video, he is factually correct about many of the things he says. And he refers to um, the history of the Gnostic Christians and what they believed, concepts of the Archon, Demiurge. And basically what he's saying here is the God of the Bible is really terrible right the Gnostics believed he was this evil demiurge and I believe they were correct uh, in that sense that everything that the Bible writes about you if you read what it actually says versus what you've been programmed to think it says or versus what apologists try to massage away and in this particular case he doesn't even do a good job of being an apologist the uh, thing is that he points out some of the horrors in the Bible, and he refers to the Gnostic uh, belief system, and then the vigilant Christian spends most of his video uh, pointing out that this guy in an earlier video made a video where good and evil doesn't exist, and that of course is a bullshit uh, thing that you get from the New Age movement and some other people, philosophical things out there, but really, obviously, if you can observe terrible suffering evil destruction and you can observe positive uh things obviously there are two forces at work in this particular realm that you can identify as and classify as good and evil and it's not defined by a, a governmental law it's defined by a, a natural law that most people are aren't in tune with anymore because they've lost their ability to critically think now um the, the one thing I want to point out here is that that is the most pathetic argument that I've ever heard because I don't know this guy, this this morgue official YouTuber, but uh, I know that I don't even agree with my earlier videos 
because as I learn more, I continuously forge my model of reality based on new information. I try to control my cognitive biases. I'm well aware of all these things that can trigger you, and I keep these things in check to the best of my ability. So I've gone from being on the verge years ago of being on the verge of almost becoming a Christian truther because I was indoctrinated so heavily into that religion that it took me a while to figure out that I was simply behaving that way because of fear, guilt, and programming. Once I had freed myself from all that crap, from all that luggage that my Catholic school gave me and everything else that I grew up with gave me, I was able to see things more clearly. I feel so relieved because I don't have this internal conflict, this internal voice trying to correct me constantly. Because any time that I have something that is that I'm off about, usually uh, there's like a in, little internal me that's telling me, hey, you're, you're, you're wrong here. You better better keep researching there's something not right here so um i just wanted to point that out now this guy uses the typical you know the flood the egyptians the death of the firstborn the um kill these people kill that people examples but in fact there are even more examples or things he could have worded better uh, for for example, um, this uh, God of the Bible that uh, Christian fundamentalists say is this peaceful, loving, all-caring being actually describes himself in virtually the exact way that you would describe or the, the, the very definition of the Demiurge who the Gnostics believed in in Isaiah 45. Um, he is quoted here, let me see if I can find it, that he makes both the good and the bad. I form the light uh, and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Unfortunately, Morg Official didn't use that example. I would have loved to have seen and I don't need the vigilant Christian to respond to this or anything like that. I don't need his attention. I don't need his anything. He can just uh, leave me out of this. I'm just doing this for my subscribers so you can see how really it is kind of sort of pointless. If somebody has their firewall up, you can't get past it. But really, doesn't this really say, I mean, isn't this... This is Demiurge right here. This is like, you know, I mean, it doesn't get any more clear than that. That is the very definition of a, a duality making good and evil darkness and light uh, matrix to trap our souls in. Now, you can look it up in any uh, translation you want. It always says the same thing. But on top of that, besides that, typical thing where you have the apologists really focusing like a laser beam on things like the flood and all this other stuff. I've mentioned this before, but in case you're new to my channel, you never heard me say this. Um, you have a lot of uh, atheists, and I'm not an atheist. I, uh, I understand that there is a non-physical realm and that we have consciousness that is not part of the body, that... Uh, uh, basically, my view is uh, very similar to the ancient Gnostics, that we are trapped here in a reincarnation matrix, and that through knowledge of this, we can escape. And really, Gnostic just means knowledge. But um, there's, a, there's a whole thing where atheists do this thing, where you know, they tally, they, they calculate how many people were killed in the Bible by Yahweh. And uh, they have all these different numbers they come up with. But I say they're, t <laughs> they're missing the point entirely. See, those deaths were simply early deaths. Early deaths. Um, those people's lives were cut short. The reality is that the true number of people that Yahweh has killed, according to the Bible, is every person, 
every human that ever died. So by now, I don't know, maybe trillions? Because you see, the original humans had access to the tree of life, according to the Bible, and they would have lived forever, but that was cut off. So really, every person that ever died is the true number of the amount of people that Yahweh has killed. The others were killed prematurely. Slaughter them, kill the firstborn. Or here in Judges 11, you have a really, a one that, you know, apologists, nobody ever brings this one up. Here you got this Jephthah guy. And he wants to, he, he's a man of valor. And he's going to go into battle. He wants to kill all these people. And he needs uh, God to, you know, give him a victory. So, um... And this is this is really this is really profound here. He 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 promises God if he gives him a victory when he comes back home, the first person he sees at his house, he will perform a human sacrifice and kill that person as a payment for allowing him to win, basically. And you can read it in Judges eleven. I'm not going to bore you with the whole text here, but essentially, guess what happens? He only has one daughter. And she's the one he sees first. So she is the one who gets sacrificed. Uh, and uh, a lot of po apologists try to say that, that they really didn't sacrifice her. And blah, blah, blah. But if you read the text, really, um, it does. It does say that. So um, let's see. I cannot go back. And she said unto him, my father had passed open mouth unto the Lord. So you made a deal with God. And do to me according to which you, you had made a deal about. Okay, it says it right here in that verse 36. Um, and so it, it really uh, is amazing to me that this one isn't brought up a lot. And the fact that God himself is quoted as saying that he basically is wreaking evil all over the place right here. So when this guy says, is God the devil? Well, yeah, he's like playing both sides, isn't he? Now, on top of this, I have good news. Um, I was asked by my subscribers to do a... Uh, since I read the Bible cover to cover like four times and referenced it a lot, I went back and, you know, dissected sections of it after that. Um... I and spent years thinking about it. I was asked to do a video of the like in totality of, of the Bible, like my take on it. But I thought, and I had a this guy Kyle who subscribes to my channel suggested this that I use, I do it in concert with uh, Jeff Darty. So this Friday at 11, I will, and I'll make another video uh, tomorrow about something else, and I'll mention it again. But Friday. This Friday at 11 p.m. That's uh, East Coast time, Eastern Standard Time. I don't know. Uh, is that where we're in now? Or is it Daylight Savings? Eastern Standard Time, New York time, 11 p.m. Um, I'll be live on his channel. I'll, link to, I'll leave a link to that below, his YouTube channel. And um, you can tune in and um, uh, watch that. We'll do it together. So... Um, that's it for today. I just wanted to, uh, again, remind you about minds.com slash Overwatch Project. You can find frequent, up frequent updates there about all kinds of stuff. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, see you. Bye.